Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is verifying an alien dictionary. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, we are given with words and order and we need to return true if the words are sorted lexicographically according to the given order. If you look at example number one, we are given with words hello and lead code. And if we look at H and L, H come before L according to order, that means we need to return true. And if we see example number two, we are given with words word, world and row. So first of all, we will compare these two words, word and world. If we see W and W, both are same. Okay, we move on to O and O, both are same. We move on to R and R both are same now we come to d and l and we found that l come before d note d before l that means we will return false now we come to example number three we are given with apple and app we are given with an order we will compare a and a both are same in the same way we will compare p and p and when we come to L, we found that we don't have any word after P in the app. And if there is any scenario in which the first word is longer than the second word, in that case, we need to return false. Because in any dictionary, a smaller word come before the longer word. So let's move on to pen and paper and let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will write the code. So I have taken the example given in the question and after looking at the question, our first task is how to check the position of H and L so that we can compare whether H come before L or not. The easiest way to do that is we will take our order and we will put it in the dictionary, all the alphabets as a key and their index as a value. After putting the order in a dictionary, our dictionary will look like this. And now we can take H and L, we can compare their values and from there we can see whether H come before L or not. So now we are done with our first task. So now we will take a for loop in the range of length of word minus 1. For I in range length of words minus one and our word one will gonna be word set index i and our word two will gonna be word set index i plus one and according to this word one will gonna be hello and word two will gonna be lead code now we will take another loop for k in range of minimum of length of word 1 and length of word 2. And why we are doing so? So that we will not get out of the range. Because as you see in example number 3, there can be possibilities when a word is smaller than other word. Or you can say word 1 is smaller than word 2 or word 2 is smaller than word 1. So that's why we are taking the range of the smaller length. Now, if word 1 k is not equal to word 2 k. If this is the case, that means I am saying a is not equal to a. Then what we are going to do? We will, if dict word 1 k is greater than dict word 2 k, then we will return false. Let's see the situation in the exam. Suppose if we swap these words, lead code will become the first word 
and hello will become the second word and order remains the same so in this case the value of l is 1 and value of h is 0 so our 1 is greater than 0 so in this case we will return false but in the first example this is not the case we are returning true and if both of the word are same then what we will going to do we will simply going to break out of the loop and if length of word 1 is greater than length of word 2 in that case we will going to return false and if it's not false that means it's true so at the end we can put a condition of return true so this was the solution for this question let's see the code all right let's see the code first of all we will make a empty dictionary and we will insert all the element from the order to the dictionary element of the order as a key and their index as a value so this is a way we can do that then we will take a for loop in the range of length of words minus 1 and we will define our word 1 and word 2 then again we will take a for loop in the range of length of smaller word and if a element of word 1 is not equal to the element of word 2 then we will compare their value in the dictionary and if the value of particular element of word 1 is greater than the particular element of word 2 in that case we will return false else we will come out of the loop and if there is any scenario where the length of word 1 is greater than length of word 2 in that case we will return false else in the end we will return true so this was the code if you will copy this code and paste it on lead code it will definitely gonna work thank you so much guys for watching the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and help us to grow please don't forget to subscribe